Hi, in this video we're going to talk about local business. We're going to talk about local business in Asia. I'm going to share you a couple of tips with you. So, let's begin. Okay, in Asia you have a lot of local business and local business I mean small business along the road, small business in small streets and sometimes it's fun, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, I'm in Vietnam and uh, I, I'm observing a couple of business so you have to see it like this. Somewhere in Vietnam, somewhere in Ho Chi Minh City, I'm on the rooftop and I'll watch a business, I will watch how many people go inside, how many people go outside and how they sell things and what they do sell. Why do I do that? I want to learn how they sell things and what works for them and what may work for other people. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that's for me really interesting and yeah, it's really interesting. So let's start. The thing is, if you're talking about local business, you have to make sure that you understand a couple of things. And this is something that I didn't understand when I was in Europe. When you're talking about local business, they rely on walk-in. And walk-in is really important. And when you have a coronavirus, then you have a problem because you have less walk-in. But the question is, what do you do in those certain, in those times? What do you do in those times when there is a coronavirus and you have less walk-in? And it's interesting to see how those people around here improvise and deal with certain kind of rules from the government. And you see how they adapt is so inspiring. Trust me, it's so inspiring. So let's talk about this. If you're a local business, having a Facebook page or anything else doesn't work for you. I can tell you that because a lot of local businesses don't have that. They rely on walk-in and they rely on the street where there's a lot of traffic. So I'm standing here behind here, I will show you. There's a uh, local business and this local business in the street where there's a lot of traffic. The first time I came here, I thought, why should you have a business in this alley? But after the day, I understand why they have that because there's a lot of traffic here at a certain kind of time. And that's interesting to see. So uh, what really works for local business, what I can tell you is that marketing online doesn't work. You can use Google Business. It will work for the business because on Google Business, you see how many people is there at a certain kind of time. And it's also it make it easy for people to get to find when people are looking for certain kind of products. But a lot of local business just rely on walk-in. So if you're a local business, if you really want people to find you, just make a Google page and a business page. That's simple. You can make it easy. So that's that. Online marketing, like uh, Facebook marketing, doesn't really work. But it depends what kind of product you have. But most local business here, just look at um, the walk-in and most people know them. If they are here like for one, 10, 10 years, 14 years, then people know them. So they know at what time people come and how many revenue they make per month. The only downside is if something unique happens, it's hard for them to deal with it. And that's why a lot of business get a lot of damage when something happens like an epidemic, for example, coronavirus. And when you sit here and you see what they do to improve, what they see, what they do in order to make money, it's inspiring. But um, so digital marketing can work for some business and uh, for some business it cannot work. But most of the time local business doesn't work with digital marketing. So if you're digital marketing and you offer digital marketing, don't do that. Waste of your time. Unless you have a good local business. Let's talk about um, offline marketing. What I notice is that when you have offline marketing, you have to be creative. You can have a billboard, but if it's not creative or if it's not beautiful, if it doesn't, um, if it doesn't, if it isn't good, you're not going to work. It's not, if you have a big billboard and if it is, if the design is shitty, it's not going to work. But if you have a good design and it's pop up, people will come to you. And I also see that in this street, you have a lot of uh, business that doesn't have um, that. And that's why a lot of people don't go there. So um, that's the thing with uh, local business. What I find difficult is don't, a lot of business don't measure how many clients visit the store and how many doesn't. Because if you do that, you know what works and what doesn't work. And the problem with that is they didn't do that. And when something happened, they did not know how to deal with it. And that's something that I'm seeing here now. So um, for now, 
I'm gonna do a couple of experiments. I'm gonna show this experiment with you later, the result I'm gonna show it to you. And let me know if you have a local business or if you're doing business with a local business, let me know what your experience are. And uh, yeah, please share it with me. So uh, this is the end of the video. See you in the next video.